Hi, my name is Alberto Di Martino, and I will be your instructor for server-side development with Kotlin and Spring Boot 2.0. So, a little bit about me. I'm currently a software engineer at Samsung Pay. I have background working with Greenfield and production-ready microservices in Java and Kotlin, and I'm really eager to learn new technologies, and that's why I'm an early adopter of Kotlin and Spring Boot 2.0. If you have any questions, you can reach me at my Twitter feed or my webpage, albertodimartino.com. So let's do an overview of the course. First, on the introduction of this course, we will be covering Kotlin and the tools we will be using in this course. On session two, Spring Boot Basics, we are going to create our first Spring Boot app and learn the basics components of Spring. On session three of this course, we have Flux and Reactor. We are going to add reactive programming to our application for the best performance. On session number four, introducing persistence, we are going to add a Cassandra DB to our application to persist data using the Spring Data Library. And on session five of this course, testing and error handling, we're going to introduce Postman and Newman as testing tools, and we are going to learn how to respond gracefully to clients when errors happen on our app. Pre-requirements. You should have experience working with Java or other JVM language. You should be familiar with basics of backend, databases, and source control. You should have experience working with an IDE. And everything else, I will help you. The end goal of this course is that you should be familiar with Kotlin. You should be able to create a backend application with Spring Boot. You should learn the basics of reactive programming with the Reactor library. You should understand and know how to add persistence to your application and the basics of Spring Data for that. And you should learn how to use the tools to improve productivity in your development by Postman and Docker. So let's go through a brief introduction about Kotlin. Kotlin is first announced by JBrains, the same company behind IntelliJ IDE on 2011 as a language to replace Java on the JVM. Five years later, Kotlin 1.0 is released in 2016, making it ready for production use. And just a year after, Google announced Kotlin as first-class support for Android platform. Since then, Kotlin has been a very popular language and many people is interested in using it on production. Well, Kotlin has a set of key features that are very interesting, especially if you are coming from Java. First is that it's not safe by default, so you are avoid to get no pointed exceptions. Then it has the concept of stream templates that makes it easy to compose strings with variables. You have the concept of data classes that are really amazing. One of my favorite extension functions that allow you to extend already defined classes with uh, functions in your base code and much more that we're going to see through the course.